Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin McDonald has called a stop to this contest at 32 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Henry the Messenger. One of the greatest combat sports athletes of all time, Demetrius Johnson in the rearview mirror, and tonight in short order, you make quick work of the UFC Bantamweight champion, TJ Dillashaw. This is one of the biggest singular wins in UFC history. I mean, crack a smile for me, man. Congratulations. Uh, thank you so much. Fans, I, I, busted my I busted my butt my whole life, and I was able to beat one of the greatest of all time, man. I'm just, I'm, I, it's surreal. It really is. And that new belt looks pretty good around the waist, Henry. You got a lot of gold. It's piling up at home. Your thoughts on the end of this fight? Obviously, you heard him on the feet. The ground strikes were effective. Did you feel him soften up? Any thoughts on the stoppage? That's my brother, by the way. Um, I, I knew he was hurt. I, I, I caught him with that leg kick right on the chin, and I felt him wobble a little bit. And, uh, you know, the, the rest was history. We took the soul, we took the belt next time. So... Your, your brother said you took the soul, we took the belt next time. You came in here trying to save this UFC flyweight division. You take out a man who is the champion 10 pounds north of 125. Your thoughts on what the future holds for Henry Cejudo. Uncle Dana, where are you, Uncle Dana? Where are you hiding? Let me hide in now. <laughs> I came here, guys. This victory, and I said it before, it was much bigger than me. This victory was for the flyweights, but like I told TJ, TJ, we can do it again, and this time we'll do it 135 pounds, man. So, thank you for the opportunity. You're a stud, bro. You're a stud for coming down. I know that wake up was a lot, and I'll give you, I'll give you another shot at 135 pounds. Let's do it again. We are all witness to your greatness here tonight. Any final words before we let you go, champ? Guys, I've, uh, I did this for the flyweights, man. I hope that did enough to keep this weight division alive. But like I said before, Uncle Dana, me, you, and Hunter are going to have a meeting because Henry Sula's got to get paid. The path to flyweight gold still goes through the messenger. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion, Henry Cejudo. All right, and we're going to step over here and talk to one of the best mixed martial artists on the planet, TJ Dillashaw. I appreciate you sticking around. You immediately protested the stoppage. Your thoughts on the fight tonight? Uh, I'm fortunate, man. You know, I, I did get clipped with the right hand behind the ear as I th overthrew my own. You know, and like you can feel it, but I met it the entire time. Look, I'm wrestling. I'm trying to grab a single leg. He has to push me off him. Look, I instantly start talking to him. It sucks, man. It sucks when something's taken from you, you know, not when you're actually beat. It, I, I, I would love to get beat. Hey, congrats to Henry Cejudo. Um, good job, but you didn't beat me. Well, hopefully we'll see a rematch at 135 pounds. Thanks for sticking around all class. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. UFC Bantamweight Champion, T.J. Dillashaw.